So you have 2,000 naira. So I have to balance you 2,000 naira. Please, remember. Very neat job. No problem. Please. I'm going to start now. Okay, okay. Okay, well done. Thank you. Oh my god. Are you serious about this? I'm telling you. He doesn't even want to see my face again. I thought I was winning. <laughs> you know, I told you not to dare that my baby is faithful to me, but you wouldn't agree. <gasps> Babe, am I not sexy enough? He hasn't even touched me. Not to talk of taking me to his bed. <laughs> Every single thing I do pisses him off. Really? That's because he doesn't find you attractive. He's not interested in you. So everything about you irritates him. <laughs> Babes, that man truly loves you. You know, I told you I was going to watch your back. And that's why you agreed and trusted me to tempt him. Yeah, but you know, aside from trusting you, I know Richard loves me with every fiber of his being, mm -hmm. which is why I wasn't afraid when you threw in the challenge to go tempt him. Though he fell for it initially. Phil, he didn't fall for it one bit. He was just giving me false hope. Really? That man loves you. Ah. So guard and cherish that love with everything you have or else you will lose him to girls like me. <laughs> oh, please. <laughs> Are you done tempting? Well... I'm gradually building distance between the both of us. Mm. It was a dangerous game. I enjoyed it. But it's I'm okay. sorry I tempted your man. It's okay. It's okay. You know, I really wanted to find out who he really is. You know, though it was a huge risk. But hey. Mm. Thank you. <laughs> Hello. Is anybody home? Eric! What a surprise, baby! Same as I felt when I got your call. Oh. <laughs> Actually, I didn't know you were going to be here this soon. You know, I've been bored and I miss you. Same here, darling. <laughs> Where is she? Who? Your wife. Ah. Uh... She's at the office working her ass out for that oil firm. Then what are we still doing? Let's go and search. You know, you just got here, right? And you need to have something to drink before we get started. So we got all pass. Let's go straight to the bed. Okay, no Okay, okay. Okay, don't be good. Yes, come and get the gates for me. Uh, how far? I go be now. What? And the choco bomb for me, the buy for me anytime they come now. Oh, I forgot. Maybe next time. Ah, no, not talk that one. You know, see, person the see here, he here anyhow. Huh? I go be as you forget her. Something. Take this one. Manage it. A hundred naira. Manage it. Uh, there's no any big big one inside. Huh? Manage it. Come and get the gates for me. I think now because you talk management, oh, uh, this no. hundred naira cannot buy anything in this in this world again. Now, maybe it's the only thing we're doing inside. Poverty. See ya. Sticky poverty. Just as poor as 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 as, as did my ogre. Very poor people, lazy poor people that cannot do any anything. The only thing where they get na nyash, the dangling nyash, dangling portobello, cannot give me anything. Look at the nonsense you give me. Hundred naira not be waiting at the you to clean nyash if I be shit. Now you give me nonsense.
When will all this be over? Shame. How so? Well, soon as because I'm putting plans together. Stories. That's all you tell me every time. When will you cease to give me these stories and excuses? Eric, she's trying. She has already paid 10 million out of the money I asked for. You should have raised everything by now. Well, we need a little more patience. That's just the thing. Can't wait for us to be together and be happy. It's not what you think, eh? It's not what you think. She's a... SHUT UP! This... is the sickness! Why you didn't go to work today? Hey, hey. Right? Yes, baby, eh? She's, um... um she's dropping... <laughs> a thing from me. I didn't want to break your marriage. My marriage was already over the moment Indica refused to help you because you denied him sex. Hi. I wasn't happy when he said it. And I thought that by moving out, I'll take away his urge for cheating on you. You're so heartbroken. How could you do this to me? <laughs> See, my dear. Hmm? Be strong. Huh? God knows why things turned out this way. Of what benefit is it of God seeing me in tears? What benefit of Him allowing me marry an infidel, a feckless womanizer? Now I understand his sudden change in attitude. He started seeing another woman. Probably because I couldn't give him a child. <clears throat> I couldn't. No, no, no. Don't go there. Don't go there. Your marriage is just two years young. Huh? Any man who will start sleeping around because you've not given birth in such a young marriage is just a hopeless womanizer. It's not about you. Okay? Don't talk about it anymore. No, no, no. No. I can't. I feel like killing him already. Hey, no, 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 no. I should. No. Don't talk like that. Don't talk like that, my darling. The kids. They went to church. Oh. Do you 
think we ever go back to school. Of course, I have faith in God and in him. But you know the exams will soon start. And we've not covered anything. In fact, we're so behind now. I know. If things didn't work at this time, it will work at next time. Mommy trying her best to raise money. She are well. Yes, I am, but I just wish things can get back to normal. And I wish Dad could come back from wherever he has gone to and take care of us. Let's keep on praying. Oh my God! Where have you girls been? You've not been attending extra morals lately. Mm, yes, dear, we are. Um... Our mom is finding it. We are planning on relocating from Lagos. We are moving down to the east so we can continue our education there. Wow, really? Okay, see you then. Bye. Ah, Miss Sue. Me. You abandoned me and my dead child in the hospital without even bothering to find out if I'd buried her. Sister, I did not abandon you. I paid the hospital bills, right? She was that I got an important call in from the office, so I had to run. Important call? My dead child, my income was not important enough for you. Important call. So since that time you've been in the office and you've not come out right. You won't understand. I don't even have time for myself not to talk of others. I don't. So Biba, I want to believe you're still my sister. 
You are still the sister that I sacrificed everything for. The sister that I cuddled to sleep in my arms. Have you forgotten? Have you forgotten how our parents died at a tender age? Have you forgotten? All I went through for you, Zabina, have you forgotten? I have not forgotten. I have not. My problem with you is just that you feel people don't care about you. You feel you're the only widow with children in this world. I mean, you take things to the extreme, even with unnecessary assumptions. I take things to the extreme with unnecessary assumptions. That's fine. Sister, I followed you here because I want to liberate your suffering. I know the kids are a burden to you. So I'm offering to take one of them to come stay with me. Take this 2000 Buy food for yourself and the children. I will come tomorrow to pick whichever of them you decide to give me. Sabina. 2000 naira. Sister, you need to manage. Things are really difficult with me. I mean, I have projects, yet no money to execute them. So stop thinking like I have money and I don't want to give you. Uh-uh. I'll see you tomorrow. No, Mom, we're not going. I'll go. You're not going either. Mom, we're not going. But she's my sister. And she's offering to help for the first time in a long while. But she's not a good person. You said it before. And how do you expect us to live with her? She came here and apologized. Hmm? And she has offered to send whoever stays with her to school. Do you know how desperately I want you both to go back to school? Why not she give you our fee? We can manage with you. Mm. Mm, so be cool, please. Eh? Learn to forgive and forget. Mm? She has offered to help. Let's not reject it. You go and live with her. Oh? No, Chica can go. I'm ready to forfeit to my education. Since as the Sabina can live up to her promises. What you just said now reminds me of something I did many years ago. Has been looking for you everywhere. Tell me why are you crying? I saw my mind my dream last night. Oh, oh mama, what happened? I tried to learn her something, but all of a sudden she closed her eyes, saying so she couldn't hear me anymore. Sabina, so mama is dead. Mama is dead, and there's no way you could talk to her. Look at me. I'm your only sister, also a mother you could talk to. You can tell me anything you want to. Stop crying, okay? Everything will be fine. You know, I also miss Mama too. And I promise Mama that I'll always take care of you. So you're afraid to tell me anything, okay? Uncle has been looking for you. Uncle said he wants to tell us something. There is no way you can go inside with your face like this. You remember I promised Uncle that you're not going to cry again. So now wipe your tears. 
And I'm sure someday Mama will come back to us. All of us will be happy again. As you can see, no member of your father's family is willing to help any of you. And me, I have just retired. With the little savings I have, I don't think it would be enough to take off your education and other needs. Salome, Uncle. you are through with your education, isn't it? Yes, Uncle. I finished two years back. My son Chukwemeka, you know him? The one that lives in Lagos. Yes, sir. He's willing to help in your education only. But he'll be able to help just one of the two of you. Look, that is a great news. Then let my sister Sabrina go. No. You go and see if you can gain admission to the university. University can wait. University can wait for now. Your education matters a lot to me. Uncle, please beg Uncle Chukwemeka to take my sister Sabrina. You know, she just entered just 2 before her mother died. And she has not been able to further her education. Uncle, if Uncle Chukwemeka is willing to help us, I will be glad. Then you stay here doing what? Don't worry about me. I'll be fine. Besides, there are a lot of things to do here. I'll see if I can learn a trade. And raise some money to assist you. Food. Yes. Don't worry, everything will be fine, okay? Is that what you want? Yes, Uncle. Alright. I will inform my son about this development. Thank you very much, Uncle. Thank you. Tell me what gives you joy when you don't do the right thing. Tell me what gives you joy when you fail to do what goes around comes around my day. A chance on a chance on a What goes around comes around my And what's the meaning of that? You, 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 know, you know, get house. Why would you, would you come here? They, 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 they talk with you all the time. How dare you speak to me in such manner? Oh, bros, wait now they talk this. If you want me for this house, you go meet my madam. Oh, they will give you one room. You collect one. I will not say you live inside this house. But if they just come here, they knock, pom, 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 pom. they disrupt person. Even one person, not the expert person. Oh, yeah, will you shut up? I'll report you to your boss. Na 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 joke na. Because you know they follow you joke. Na joke. Okay, now now wait till you get fine. I can see you are drunk. And is your boss around? 
I'm both not that around my other. You don't come out, and my madam, wife, all of them don't come out. Even though I know she's not my wife, they come fine. Because they know they find your wife. My, my other, they find. fine. I will broach this insult to your boss and make sure I have you fired. You can't tell her now. Oh, you don't already give me his food. If my guy ask me, I will go just tell her, say, I get day drunk for dream. And that time, you will you, you, you come knock. I, I, I come wake up. Yeah? But now, now which, which kind of dream is this thing? Why the dream? Why the push you one right like that for dream? This thing, now, malaria, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, they smell them. Chica, have you finished arranging your clothes in the wardrobe? Yes, Auntie. Okay. Do you know how to cook? No, Auntie. Huh? So, what has your mom been teaching you then? When I was your age, I already know how to cook everything. Situations of life hasn't given my mom the opportunity to teach me. But, Meso, she can cook very well. Okay, let's go to the kitchen. Let me teach you something for today, because I won't have this time again. Baby, yes. Okay, good afternoon, sir. Who is this? My niece. I told her I was going to go bring her to come stay with us. What about the food? Are you dumb or what? Sorry, ma. Sorry for yourself. Oh, she came around. Yeah, so she even took Chica to stay with her. Stay with her? I think. To stay with her while she trains her in school. It's her way of helping and unaccepted. Okay. It's a good thing. At least for the first time you're getting help from her. I just hope she keeps to her promise. If she doesn't, then I'll just go and take my daughter. It's as simple as that. I didn't even know shame will allow her come back after abandoning you at the hospital. I really wonder what was wrong with your sister. Well. I believe she's changing. Hmm. At least I just have a missile to cater for now. I really pray I find a way to send her back to school. You will, my dear. God will make a way. What of your husband? You still remember that one? <laughs> He's been pleading, but I'm done. And my mind is made up. Easy. Calm down. Down. He's a human, and we humans are prone to make mistakes. Forgive him. Hmm? He's still your man. Hello, man. I really do not want to talk about in the car right now. Please. Hey, George, just get me something to eat. Ah. Hey, see, Oda, you've come to your canteen. No problem, ma. Where is the mess? Oh? Mm. <laughs> sure, you come and point at the meat you want. <laughs> You know, now we like me. Should I come inside or should I wait here? Yeah, yeah, before, before you come and finish. <laughs> <laughs> Babe, just try and calm down. Don't, 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 don't tell me to calm down. Don't tell me to calm down. It's obvious you've lost every form of respect for me in this house. How could you say that? How have I disrespected you? Monica. 
cannot believe you just asked me that stupid and, and annoying question. Did we discuss about this girl coming to this house? But honey, I told you I wanted to take one of my sister's kids. So people will not start talking. Who? Oh, people? And who are those people? Eh? Are they in our pockets? Or have they suddenly become our money managers? Eh? It is obvious that you have forgotten that you have a lot to do for me with money. What if they want you to go and steal money to train those children? Eh? Or are they not your responsibility? Of course, yes. What about the plaza you promised to set up for me? Or is your sister's knees now bigger than my own? How could you say a thing like that? Besides, it's just one of her kids that I picked and promised to train her in school. Uh -huh. Queen Elizabeth, probably you've, you've agreed to, 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 to own all the NGOs in this world so that you can help the less privileged. Babe, how could you say such a thing? Because that is how it starts. Before you know it now, you will bring the love of our child and she will come and join us in our house just because you want to help the society. Don't be too angry. Just let it go, please. I'm not happy with you. I'm not happy with you. Okay, fine. She will leave by month's end. But for now, please, just let her stay while I teach her some things. Can you do that for me? Month's end is too far. Took you so long. Sorry, sir. Ow! What's this? Oh. Is it not this stupid girl that just stepped on my toe? Oh. Is something wrong with you? Sorry, sir. Come on, come on, come on. Just stop it. I want you to get out of this place. You said you are who? Well, woman, I am the man in charge of this property. Didn't BC tell you about that? She did, but I didn't know it was you. Okay, now you do. She came to me and told me that you needed a place to stay for a period of time. And I collected little money from her for you to stay here. But now, this property has been sold. Jesus! Yes, oh. yes. As a matter of fact, the buyer will soon come and demolish it and build a better house. So my advice to you is to pack out of these premises as soon as possible. Hey, but sir, it's not been long we moved in here. I have no other place to go. How is it my business, woman? I am a businessman, an agent at that. So please, act soon, and that will be okay for you.
I guess I'll bring it for you. <laughs> no, she won't be me. Okay, I'll bring it, I'll bring it. Don't worry. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> you know what? Let me just call you back later. I'll, I'll tell you what. <laughs> but make sure you pay the money. Okay, thank you. <laughs> you gotta make your way go. <laughs> Baby, stop crying now. I, I'll stop crying so that we can think. <laughs> What do you want me to think? What do you want me to think? What do you want me to think, Richard? How do I tell my sister that the child she's saying to stay with me is gone now? How do I tell my sister that the that I tell her to my girl? How do I do that, Richard? Jigga, please. Jigga, please, don't go, please. Thank you. Yeah. Baby, it's okay. It's okay. Yeah. I'm sorry. I, it's actually a mistake. I, I don't even know that I hit her that hard, though. Sincerely. Do you know what we should be thinking now? We should be thinking of what to tell the mother. What exactly happened? You know, we need to coin something that we can tell the mother that happened. Hey? Jesus, I can't believe this happened. I can't believe it. If I had a little approach, you can't stay with us. I mean, myself would be so good. No, please, we chill out for me. No, please. Chill out, please, get out. Oh, now, would you just tell this process that you're doing? <laughs> get out in here, no, leave me. Just go, get out. Just go, just go. Just go! No, 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 Where's my sister? Uh, don't cry, why are you crying? What happened to my sister? I, I, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Oh. What's going on? I thought something had happened to you. <laughs> what, what's the matter? <laughs> You're also crying. I'm sorry. I, crying? I, I'm so sorry. Sorry Mr. about what? What's wrong with you? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't know it. What's wrong? Mr. Don't cry. It's crying. Mr. You're crying. I'm sorry. Oh, Guangini, are you all right? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Who is that? Why is my daughter sleeping like that? Why is she sleeping like that? Why is she on your shoulder? Give what have you done to my sister? Why is she sleeping like this? Chica! Chica, please wake up. Chica. Chica. Chica, please. What have you done to my sister? Chica, Chica, I know you don't like this house. We'll go. Chica, please. Chica, we'll live under the bridge. I don't care. Chica, wake up, please. please. Chica, wake up, I want you to be like a woman. You don't tell me that I'm not a woman. I'm not a woman. Please, I'm not a woman. Please, I'm not a woman. Chica, please, wake up. Chica, please. Chica, look at your sister. Chica, wake up.
That monster killed your daughter and you're allowing her go scot free? She said she slept and didn't wake up. And you believe that rubbish? How can a child as healthy as Chica die in her sleep? How? How is that ever possible? Death can happen at any time. Oh, I'm not buying that. I don't believe her. <laughs> What do you want me to say, BC? What do you want me to say? I've left it in God's hands. Why is all this happening to you? Why? That woman killed my sister. I'm not going to see her on game again. It's okay, my dear. It's okay. It's okay. Uh, I don't even know what to say to God anymore. I'm tired. The husband living in has been so. I heard about that. Follow me. I'll see what I can do about it. I'm sorry, but you have to let go. Baby, you didn't kill her. But I concealed the truth. I lied to my sister just to save your head. Now my sister is suffering for it. She's in perpetual sorrow. I think you should give your sister some money. Yes. A lot of it actually, you know. Get her a house somewhere nice. In a very beautiful place. Mm -hmm. Are you okay? <laughs> I thought she never wanted me to help my sister. Well, um, as far as you could erase the guilt from your mind, uh, it's okay. Baby, the truth is, I don't have any problem with your sister. By the way, she's your only sister. But don't forget my 10 million, no. I mean, my 10 million naira. <sighs> Richard. I will say to my sister first, the money can wait.
May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now forevermore. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the hearts of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Of what essence is it praying to him? Does he exist? Meso, why would you say such a thing? It's because I don't think he does. He doesn't exist, Mom. Stop it. If he does, why did he allow Dad to die? Why did he allow Kem and Chika to die? See, God decides who lives and who dies. It's not our decision to make, it's his. Then it's what let's bring to him. Since he allows bad things happen to us. Miss Oma, I said stop it. Don't make things harder for us than they are already. Hmm? There is a heaven. There is heaven and when we die, we'll go there and be with them forever. Then let's go die. Let's go with them. Simple. have a sister who is in dying need of your help um, look it's not as if I abandoned her it's just that my husband requested for a huge amount of money from me which I've been trying to sell to since then at the detriment of your own sister a lady who looks just like you she's a widow for heaven's sake you shouldn't abandon her like that I've been trying to reach out to her too. Just that I've made huge promises that I've not been able to fulfill. And right now, where she lives, I've been sold. Sabina, get her a befitting apartment. To hell with your husband. But what do you think people would say? That a wealthy lady like you abandons her own blood sister? Is she educated? Yes, she had her NCE, but yet to retrieve her certificate. Vivian, truly, my, my sister sacrificed a lot for me. If not for my sister, I wouldn't have been able to see nor go through the four walls of a university. Sabina, you're sick. You know what? Go on and think about it. We'll talk later. You're not eating. What is it? I'm not hungry. Don't tell me that. Hmm? I know you. And I know when something is bothering you. Well, talk to your mother. Oh? I want us to leave this town. I want us to leave this city. Why? We've seen a lot of misfortune around here. Maybe we should move to Oweri. Or to Asaba, or to Aba, anywhere outside Lagos. I've also thought about it. Perhaps it's time we left Lagos. I have a friend that stays on Folks Road in Aba. Maybe we could move there next month. Why not this month, Mom? Huh? Why? What's the hurry? Because I had the bad dream about this. Yeah. What kind of dream? Please. 
Jesus. Come on, you can't be serious with these words, right? Richard, what do you want? It seems like all those times I begged you in Greece. Listen, you really need to be careful with the words you use, right? So you don't regret that, you know? <laughs> regret what? And who do you think you are? Who do I think I am? Well, we'll talk about all that later. We were talking to a certain lady earlier today. She happens to be my wife. I really want to know what you told her. Your wife? A woman you never introduced me to. What a surprise. <laughs> Do I look like I'm bluffing? Well, if you must know, I told her the truth. The truth? The truth about us, Mr. Womanizer. Calm down. I've never seen you this scared before. I was only joking. It's me, Sabina. Yes, I'm, I'm fine. I'm okay. And you, how about your family? Okay, look, Mohamed, please, I'm in the need of two to three bedrooms apartment that is well furnished with constant light and water. Yes, yes. Anywhere in the heart of Lagos is very okay. Mm-hmm. Okay, please, I'll be expecting to hear from you from now to the weekend, if that's okay. Okay, but have in mind, money wouldn't be a problem. Just get me something very befitting. Thank you. Bye. Dombra, what is it? Madam, I'm not, I'm not happy at all. I'm not happy. Of course I can see that. Why are you crying? And then the way, the way that began to die. The way that began to die, it pay me. It pay me, Dombra. It pay me well, well. I feel so sad too. But what can I do, Dombra? What? Madam, I beg I am sister. Eh? help her. Even if not to collect my, my two months salary, give up. Make she take the to support herself. Madam, you know the easy. That's so kind and thoughtful of you, Dombra. You know, I feel very guilty for neglecting her for so long. But I'm taking every possible measures to make sure I change her life. It's but I'm, um, see, you passed them. You passed this thing. You know, if you reach the thing where I see you, they do for people. You know, if you reach them, where my eyes, they Don't see. Like it's enough. It's enough. I heard you. Come and open the gate for me. I'm in a hurry. And please, do not say this to any other person. Keep it to yourself. Open the gate. Babe, we have a problem. What kind of problem, Susie?
the girl I used to date beside my wife just betrayed me. The girl you used to date? Which, are you seriously telling me you've been cheating on me? Honey, this, this is a very serious matter. Have you slept with her? Of course not. Baby, you know I would never cheat on you. But you did. Come on now. I just needed a female I could talk to. And you know that the woman I call my wife, she's always in the office. She never has my time. Richie, that doesn't give you an excuse to cheat on me. Baby, please now. I'm sorry. Sincerely, let's not dwell on this matter, right? Remember, we have a plan. And the 20 million naira is here to be completed. So, I'm doing everything possible to make sure that happens. But now I don't even know what this lady went to tell my wife about me. How sure are you? She confronted me. It's just that I, uh, my wife hasn't even said anything about it. Then she must be planning something. I swear I can't wait to kill that woman after collecting that money. It's just that I don't even see the possibility of that happening. We need to do something or something like what? It's good. There, there is something very important I want. Uh, look, um, Dombra, um, I will increase your salary next month. So save the complaint. Huh. Madam, this thing is not salary incrementation. Even though I'm expecting a salary in, 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 increase. But, Madam, you get something very, very important I want to tell you. Madam, you know, say you be a very good woman. 
And everybody, everybody know about it. Everybody did say it. Madam, if I do not tell you this thing, it's very, very bad. I want to tell you the truth about this, this, this thing. Jeez. I, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I mean, we can explain. It's not what you think. We can explain. I cannot believe this. Richard? Give me your egg! So, so my sister has been right all along. Huh? You are not happy, why? Are you seriously asking me that question? Our baby's for what good? This woman is very wealthy and she has a future. It's all about for her good. How long do you intend staying in this marriage? Till I get a huge sum of money from her and take absolute possession of all her property. That's it. Richie, that's gonna take a while. And you're asking me to wait? I will be with you very soon and we need money. We need money to achieve every single thing we need to do. Right? I miss you. I miss you too. But you can always come around and have fun. <laughs> about something as important as this. Sister, I have asked my husband, but he denied it. What did you expect? You expected him to say it's true? I am your sister. I am your blood. And what I want is your happiness. Sabina, that man is no good for you. He's not who you think he is. Look, this is so ridiculous. I mean, this is very hard for me to believe that my husband is gay. Sister, you're talking nonsense. Me, Salome, talking nonsense. Do you think I don't want your happiness? <laughs> of course. It's very obvious, very glaring that you don't want my happiness. If not, how else would you be against a man I love and trust wholeheartedly? Why did you not condemn him before I got married to him? Why? Why now? Is it because you realize that he's more handsome than your husband? Sabina, I did not come to your house to get insulted. Listen to me. You are making a grievous mistake. That man is no good for you. Sister, uh -uh. Salome. I can see you want nothing but my sadness and sorrow. But no, I will not give in to that. I will not allow you to deceive me. Not now, not ever. You have overstayed your welcome. Sabina, God knows I'm telling the truth. I know what I saw. Get out, please. should because Eric and I we've come a long way. Oh baby, actually the truth is 
We can actually have this marriage on a threesome, you know, the three of us, that kind of... <laughs> touch you, dare touch me with your filthy hands! Now I see why you've been against my sister. Now I see why you've refused me helping my sister! But she never wanted this marriage to work. I told her to keep quiet about what she saw, but she wouldn't. <laughs> to come back when your mom would have returned from wherever you went to. You're crying. Come on, you don't need to cry anymore. They're smiling because I just rented a befitting apartment for you and mom. And I also bought a new car for her to be driving you to school with. You're still crying. What's wrong? Where's your mom? My mom is dead. What? What did you just say? I said my mom is dead. No. 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 No.
don't touch my eyes. Hi, she. So, sit down, please. Thank you. So, good day. Hi, she. I'm sorry. Who are you, please? I'm Salome. I was the girl that brought my sister last night. She has been complaining of being free in it. I remember now. How are you? I'm fine. How is she? Can I see her name? Um, you see, from the diagnosis we carried out on your sister, it appears her kidneys are not functioning anymore. Okay? So, she will be needing a kidney transplant as soon as possible. Oh. What did you just say? I'm sorry, but she needs a kidney transplant. Oh my God. What will I do? What will I do to save my sister's life? You see, there's still hope. Okay? All she needs is a kidney transplant, and um, we need that as soon as possible. Okay? Possibly yours. Mm -hmm. What do you mean? If if I give my sister one of my kidneys, she will live. Sure. She will survive it. Yes. Exactly. That is what I'm saying. Now you see, you have to hurry up about it. Just think about it and then let us know. Okay? I done wrong. My own kidney. Why me? What? Sabina, it's okay. It's okay. You have to stop crying. Cry won't solve anything now. After all my education. Why now that I'm about to write to you your egg? Salome. What have I done wrong? You haven't done anything wrong. I've spoken to the doctor already. And the doctor said I can donate one of my kidney for you to survive. Salome, you don't need to. No. I can wish my only sister die when I can save you. Sabina, you all have God. You still have a long way to go in life. I have a bright future. Stop crying, okay? I'll donate my kidney. I'll donate my kidney. That will make you to survive. My kidney. Oh my God. Oh my God. It's okay. Sabina, you only for me. <laughs> Sabina, Sabina, please. The landlord has kicked me and the children out of the house at last. Not even a greeting. Pardon my manners. Good afternoon, Richard. I'm sorry. If you mean you and the kids are homeless? Yes, please. We need your help. Okay, why not we... Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. We are late to a function. You have to come back later. Do you understand? Maybe next weekend will be fine. Please. Sabina, please, even if it's something for the kids to eat, please. Huh? Didn't you hear her? Go and fix your children and yourself somewhere else and come back next weekend. Nonsense. Move this car! I'm so sorry to disappoint you, please. Why did you allow her in? Uh, uh, I'm not even the one that opened gate for her. Sabina, please. I beg you with everything within me. 
My child is sick. I need your help. I beg you. Where have you been? Because I've been to your former residence and a neighbor you told false tales about me insulted me. See, I don't even know what's going on. I don't know what happened. But I'm sorry. You know I wouldn't do such a thing. Please, Sabina, my child is seriously sick. I need your assistance, Pico. You see this life? You see you? After tarnishing my reputation, you still have the face to walk into my compound. Really? Huh? You only come to me when there is trouble. Where have you been since? You've been managing, you've been doing very well without me. You never care to let me know about your whereabouts. Huh? I don't have money to give. Moreover, I've exceeded my daily transactions and it's weekend already. So there is no money. It will wait till Monday, okay? <laughs> Sabina, this is an emergency. Explain that to the doctor. By Monday, I'll see what I can do. I'm sorry for your child. Sabina. Idiots. Open the gate for me. Sabina, 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 Now, okay? What does the doctor want? Nothing. What do you mean by nothing? Talk to me. What does he want? Stop crying, okay? Let's just go in and pay the bills so we can take her cups. <laughs> Hello, Andrew. Are you serious? No, 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 I'm not in the office. I drove out to see someone. No, it's not something serious. I can be there. I can come. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'll be there right away. Um, sister, I, I, I brought food for you and the kids. Let me quickly rush inside, pay the bills, and then I rush back to the office. I have an emergency. I'll see you after the barrier. Please, just, just stop crying. I beg you, please. <sighs> Let her go! Let her go! <laughs> Stop. I believe the evil has met you at home when I came to your house for help. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for my sexless and stupid lifestyle. I wish I was around. I'm so sorry. <laughs> 
Mami Kenapa kau makan Mami Jika stop crying Mami so So, you succeeded in killing my best friend. You've succeeded in making her die in penury. I remember countless times she came to you, pleading for help. But you turned your back on her. After everything she did for you. After all her sacrifices. Ah! She told you? Of course she did. And what did you do? You failed her. Look at the media today, praising you for burying your sister in a gold casket. A gold casket! You know she wouldn't have died if only you helped her. She would still be alive. Look, I'm sorry. Please just, just try and hear me out. There is nothing to hear from you. I'm going to tell the whole world what you did. How you killed your sister, how you made her life miserable. I'm going to tell them everything. And listen, I'll be coming to take this kid before you kill her as well. Mordra. But I'm, I, 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 don't, I don't know. Sister Sabina, how callous can you be? I mean, I, I, I can't believe this. Um, Pastor, it's not what you think. What is the truth? I never knew you had a sister in dear need of help, but you neglected her. That was so unchristian of you. There is no justification for your actions. It's really monstrous of you to have treated your sister so badly. When I received the information, I was so heartbroken. Sister Sabina, you really disappointed me. Pastor, I'm sorry for my actions. I'm so sorry. 
Sister Sabina, you should ask God for mercy. And to that innocent girl whom you've taken everything from, I couldn't hold myself together when, when I got the information. And that is the reason why I'm here. To express how disappointed I am with you. Sister Sabina, I'm sorry. I must be on my way now. Pastor Pete, Pastor, I'm sorry. I've said I'm so, I've said I'm sorry. Please, you, you can't leave me now, Pastor. You, you can't leave me now. I beg you, please. Please. Sister Sabina, you should ask God for forgiveness before coming to me. <laughs> what you did is so wicked. I regret ever collecting donations from you. When you have someone in desperate need of help, the life we live as Christians is to help our brothers and our sisters. You failed. Sister Sabina, ask God for forgiveness. Goodbye. Pastor, please. Pastor, please. <laughs> We don't have any business here again. Come on, come on this place now. Oh, you're 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 Wait any longer. Uh -huh. And besides, what we have here, it's enough for us to fund our plans. Yeah, baby. Uh huh. And we are going to be Yankee together, right? I will live happily after. Oh, right? I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you, baby. <laughs> baby. Oh, baby. Oh, oh, baby.
Bumbra. To God, this is through all this attack. But I'll go police. Oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> Could this be God punishing me for marrying a thief? No, <laughs> no, 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 no. no. <laughs> I am finished. Madam, this is penalty. Call police. Call I am police. finished. I'm thinking of it. What do I eat? What do I eat? <laughs> Oh. Richard, have you not done enough? <laughs> what am I supposed to do now? What am I supposed to do? Richard, what else you want to do to me? Oh my God, oh my me, I beg you. I beg you, help me out of this. <laughs> <laughs> we have an advocate.